request uh, submitted by Sister Patty, and it's by the Edge family. They, and this is Sister Patty's half, uh, her son, her son's half sister, uh, committed suicide. Uh, and she is requesting prayer for the family. Amen. Amen. And also pray for the Muldrow family, and also continue praying for my family. Yes. Amen. And for the Devon family. Yes. And all those that have been affected by the coronavirus and all those that are on the front lines. Yes. Uh, fighting this virus. And also we will be praying for our, our leaders, our local leaders, our state leaders, and our national leaders. Yes, sir. And also world leaders. Yes, sir. Amen. So if that all, if that be all the prayer requests, let's all bow our heads in prayer. Oh, the Father, in the precious name of Jesus. Lord, hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, Lord, to come before your Lord, 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 grace, Lord, Lord, to receive mercy and help in times of trouble. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for blessing us, Lord, to wake up this morning close in our right hands with a reasonable portion of health in our hands. Lord, for giving us a mind and a desire, Lord, to press our way on now to the house of God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for keeping your angels and camp around about us, Lord, keeping us. Safe in the Lord, and Lord, and ask, Lord, you to put all these prayer requests that came up before you, Lord. Lord, move into every one of these requests according to your will, in Jesus' name we pray. Lord, and ask, Lord, you to put this service, Lord, and ask, Lord, you to touch our hearts and our minds, Lord, that we'll be able to receive your word right now in Jesus' name. Yes. And let your word fall from good ground and take root in our hearts. And we'll be comfortable to give your name, the praise, and the honor in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.
Amen. I'll try to hurry up and get out of the way, but 
I was thinking about uh, shelter in place, shelter in place. Uh, there was a few people in the scripture, amen, that actually had the shelter in place. Amen. Uh, that old prophet went to that old brook and he was sheltering in place, praise God. And while he was sheltering in place, amen, the Lord provided a raven, amen, and he fed him right there while he was sheltered in place, praise God. Amen. He didn't just leave him there. He had him get up and go somewhere else, amen, to shelter in place. And while he went down to that old, amen, widow's house for that, uh, not widow, but that little lady's house at Zerapath, amen, he was sheltered in place there, and it was there. See, provision comes when we shelter in place in obedience to the word and to the will of God. Amen. We jump over into the New Testament. Amen. And the Bible tells us that Caesar Augusta, he said that it's time for everybody to return back to their place. Amen. Because they're going to be taxed. And there was a little old lady who was pregnant with a promise. Uh huh. Amen. And she had a husband named Joseph. Uh -huh. Praise God. And they had the shelter in place. Praise the Lord. And while they were sheltered in place, they gave birth, amen, to a saint. I wish I had, amen, anybody here in the house uh, that's watching. Praise God. We may have been sheltering in place, uh, but God has been giving birth to something supernatural. God has been opening up doors uh, to something miraculous. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm still believing, as our bishop has told us in the beginning of this year that this is the year of grace and favor. We had a shelter in place and it probably won't live here in a little while, but amen, we have a promise that has been impregnated in us. Come on, anybody in the house believe like I believe, praise God, we're about to give birth to something powerful. Hallelujah. If you believe that, you should clap your hands and thank the Lord. Come on, we see that just a little bit more. Come on, come on, King of Glory. We want to fall in this place. Hallelujah.
caution to those that are shut in. Amen. That your house is now a place where the presence of the Lord yes. is. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Praise God. Amen. I want to invite your attention to Luke. Amen. 22 verse. Amen. 1 to 13 in Joshua. Chapter 6 verses 18 to 19. Now the feast of unleavened bread drew nigh, which is called the Passover. And the chief priests and the scribes sought how that they might kill him, for they feared the people. Then entered Satan into Judas' surname Iscariot, being of the number of, number of the twelve, and he went his way and communed with the chief priests and the captain how, it might, how he might betray him unto them. And they were glad and, co and co coming to give him money. And he promised and sought opportunity to betray him unto them, yeah. the absent of the multitude. Uh -huh. Then came the day of the unleavened bread, when, they pass when the Passover must be killed. And he sent Peter and John, saying, Go and prepare us the Passover that we may eat. Yes. And they said unto him, Wherewith thou that, that we prepare? And he said unto them, Behold, when ye are entered into the city, there shall be a man meeting you, bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him into the house where he is entered. Amen. And ye shall say unto the good men of the house, The master said unto thee, Where is the, the guest chamber? When I shall eat the Passover with my disciples. And he shall show, uh, show you a large upper room furnished that make ready. And they went and found as he had said unto them. And they made ready the Passover. Joshua 6, 18 through 19. And ye, and ye in any wise keep yourselves from the accursed thing. Yes. Lest ye make yourselves accursed. When ye take of the accursed things, that make the camp of Israel a curse and trouble it, but all the silver and gold and vessels of brass and iron are consecrated unto the Lord. They shall call, they shall come in the treasure of the Lord. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of His Word. Praise God. I want to speak on this subject: hidden sin. All right. Hidden. All right, Bishop. Praise God. I have always tried to live by and tell people, whether man or woman or child, no one lives unto himself. No. Nope. Right. That's right. You affect somebody. That's right. You're going to affect somebody positively mm -hmm. or negatively. Amen. It's, um, this is um, a very sober subject here tonight. But revival will come when the sin issue is taken care of. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Amen. Let's pray right now before God, right now, Jesus. We thank you for truth. Help us, Almighty God, to understand, amen, what you mean by hidden sin. Will you clap your hands on the Lord? There are so many stories that are in the Bible, even start in the book of beginnings, amen. Adam and Eve, they even tried to hide their sins. Yes, they did. And the Lord ran them out to the army. Right. It was simply because they disobeyed God. Then you got the story about Achan's. Amen. And 
he didn't obey God, and because he didn't obey God, it affected the nation of Israel. And judgment fell on him and his whole family because they simply disobeyed God. Amen. And you could ask the question, why did God do this terrible thing which it appears? You see, God is a just God and a righteous God. Yes, sir. And when he speaks, mm -hmm. he means what he, he says. That's right. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. So important in the age that we're living in to keep ourselves clean yes, sir. from sin. Yes, sir. Amen. We all experience or witness betrayals at some point. And no example in the Bible illustrate the pain, the guilt, the shame caused by the sin more clearly, amen, than that story of Judas. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. During the early ancient days, that name Judas was very prominent. In the island in which we live in, nobody wants that name, Judas. That's right. And if you follow history, it seemed like that name completely disappeared. That's right. Nobody wanted to be called Judas. Right. He was chosen as one of the 12 disciples. Judas was privileged. John 12 and 6 says he was even granted the responsibility of maintaining the disciples' money box. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I have a wallet. Amen. I maintain it. Yeah. And uh, you see, our purses and our wallets are important to us, aren't they? Yeah, they can go like this anybody can. That's right. Judas was a treasure. Mm -hmm. I have even heard stories over and over again, even in churches where people were responsible, amen, for the money. Uh -huh. And uh, they began to look at the money as it was theirs. Right. This is what happened to Judas. Amen. But that same verse actually reveals an important truth about Judas. The Bible says he was a thief. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really something, amen, that what was actually done in many countries in reference to the thieves. And some countries, they just cut the hand off. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Amen. You can go throughout, amen, the world and discover what they do with thieves. We put thieves in prison. Uh -huh. While the rest of the world They'll cut their hand off or even cut their head off. Yeah. John indicated greed was Judas' weakness. That's, That's right. right. That's the truth. Greed. That's the truth. If we're honest with ourselves, we all have weaknesses. Yes, sir. Yeah, everyone. That's right. Amen. After Mary had anointed the Lord's feet, Judas complained, why was the perfume not sold, amen, for 300 damsels and given to the poor? You know what 
much money that was in our day that Judas sold out was a thousand and eighty six cents. He sold the Lord out for chunk change. Well, yeah. It's amazing, amen. Sometimes people have a tendency to fall in the trap of sin. Amen. And they decide to hide it. Yeah. 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 You can't hide anything from God. No, sir. No, sir. There are several in the scriptures try to hide their sin. We in the mess that we're in today because of the sins that was committed in the Garden of Eden. Uh -huh. Praise God. It's something about actually living for God. It's important, amen, to experience conviction. Yes, sir. And in times when the Lord will actually convict you and reveal your sin or your weakness to you, uh -huh. and you could actually not hear too yeah. what the Lord is trying to help you with. That's right. <laughs> and it can put you in a bad position. But the following verse, however, clarifies that he wanted the money only for himself. Mm -hmm. One could actually safely assume that Judas had reached the point of stealing cash from Jesus' supply. That's right. Amen. Then his greed had gone unchecked uh -huh. for some time. For some time. If we would actually search our hearts and be honest with ourselves, there are times that sin enters in our heart. And it could become unchecked. And it's careful. We need to be careful about this. It's important. If you want to be a blessing to somebody, your family, amen, don't leave Sin unchecked. That's right. Yes, sir. Come on. Sin is sin. Right, yeah. Prepared for the betrayal. That hidden sin was all Satan needed to interfere with his life. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all. That's it. He allowed sin to come in your life unchecked. Satan will use it against you. Yes, he will. Not only will he use it against you, he can use it against your family. Yes, sir. Your church. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's really something that people need to come to an understanding of the importance of not allowing sin to come in your life. And if it does, you need to repent. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And let me tell you something about when a child of God actually sins. You got to do more than just repent. All right. You got to confess to God yes, sir. what you have done. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's the reason why a lot of folks will come under conviction of a sin and they will go to the altar. Amen. And they would go through the motions of repentance, uh -huh. but never confess their sin to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And they leave the altar and pick it right back up. Right back up. Jesus. First Peter 5 and 8 says. The devil is like a roaring lion yes. seeking someone to devour. And in Judas, Satan found a willing victim. Willing victim. My, my, my. I want to tell you something. I, my, my. Amen. Uh, uh, you know, 
Oh, the devil made me do it. Uh, no, your flesh made you. Yes, sir. Go ahead. That's right. He need to take responsibility oh, yeah. for the wrong that you actually did. It's so important, amen, amen, to take responsibility, amen, for our weaknesses. And yeah. If we have fell in sin, we need to own it That's right. and confess it to the Lord. That's right. Don't look at somebody else that's also doing that. Uh -huh. They yeah. get away with it. Come on. They're not getting away with us. Right. If we're honest with ourselves, each of us have a natural tendency towards sin. Right. Uh -huh. yeah. That's right. That's yeah. right. None of us walk on water. That's right. right. Well, that's right. We still have to deal with the eye, the ears, yeah. this whole flesh of ours, and these emotions and feelings. My Lord's got to help us in the hour in which we live in. Mm -hmm. But it's so important, amen, that God has given us a way to actually live above sin. Yes, he has. I remember the story about the woman who caught in adultery. And the religious world was out to set the stone there. But the Lord showed up and he knew the sins of all those within that religious circle. Well. And he stooped down and he no doubt began to record some of their sins probably. Mm -hmm. And they peeled off and left one by one. You know what Jesus told them this woman called the adultery? He said, go and send your home. home. Yes, sir. Now, we had a dispensation of grace. Yes, sir. But Jesus could do whatever he wanted to do. That's then. right. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, he told them, go and send your home. That tells me it is mm -hmm. that it's possible for an individual, a child of God, not to commit sin. That's right. right. All right. Well, if you do, we have an advocate, yes, our sir. Father. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you. That we could go to and confess our weaknesses, mm -hmm. our faults, and everything that we have done wrong. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Good, good, good. God wants to actually really bless us. Mm -hmm. But we can turn God off. If we get caught up in our flesh. Yes, sir. You see, daily communion with God keep hidden sin from becoming a great problem. Yes, sir. Judas had some greed unchecked. And the adversary used that. Mm -hmm. He opened the door. He opened the door. That devil was out after you. Yes, he is. He's out to destroy you. Yes, he is. He's out to make a fool out of you. Yes, he is. He don't love you. Uh -huh. He despises you. Yes, he does. He hates you. Uh -huh. Because when you get saved, uh -huh. you have replaced him yes. in that position oh, yes. of worship. That's right. I'm talking about true worship. Yes, sir. Would you lift up your hands and thank the Lord? Hallelujah. You see, when you get saved, God already see you in heavenly places. I told a preacher friend of mine, I want to be amongst all those nations when you they yell out the four hallelujahs. All right. Uh -huh. All right. One after another. All right. In heaven. All right. 
And I told her, is it possible that the angels are in heaven shouting and shouting out hallelujah when it starts thundering and lightning? Uh -huh. That's just me kind of thinking outside the box. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But I believe something happens in heaven when even the angels. Oh, Jesus. The Bible tells us the angels in heaven get excited about yes, sir. one sinner one. repenting yes, sir. of their sin. Yes, sir. Amen. Somebody is, let's talk to the Lord a moment. Take some time right now and talk to him. I, I believe the Lord is speaking to some folks. Here in the, the tabernacle, outside the tabernacle, come on. I believe that there's some conviction around here. God's trying to help us, move us in another direction, the right direction. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Daily communion, amen, will help us to deal with hidden sin from becoming a greater problem. Yes, sir. Left unchecked, the roaring lion will also come after us no matter what our weakness Maybe. Right. I heard a preacher one time. He made the comment. He was with somebody. They were, they were talking. And they were talking about a bunch of mess. And you better be careful who you're talking to. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Bishop. Yes, sir. Go ahead. And he said he got in the vehicle. And that spirit got up in the vehicle with him. Yes. And got to talking to him. Mm -hmm. I believe that's why the word of God says if you say, don't be hanging around those fornicators. All right. All right. Yes, sir. All right. It's all right to have associates that may not be living for God, but you better be careful. All right, Bishop. Go ahead. And you got some backslidden Pentecostals. All right. Oh, yeah. It's walking around with hidden sin. Yes, sir. And the devil's like a roaring lion, Jesus. and he's after you. It's so easy, you know. I remember years ago, my oldest son was going to elementary school. And uh, I picked him up one day and uh, we had an interesting conversation. The conversation was about grades. You know what his attitude was? Ain't nothing wrong with getting C, everybody else getting one. No. <laughs> uh -huh. mm. What did he say that for? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I sit there, and he sit next to me, and I wore him out with words. Uh -huh. <laughs> I went down one side to the other side.
I pray that you don't let sin lead you to the path of Judas. Jesus even knew at the supper that Judas was the one. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he knew every individual that's supposed to be saved. He knows where you stand. Yeah. Yeah. We need to learn how to clean up. Yes, yes. Clean up. Stay clean up. Yes, the Lord has blessed us. He's helping us. You see, the Israelites, because they can sin, when they went in the battle, they lost. They lost. If you want to win with God, don't let hidden sin to penetrate in your heart and get to a place everybody else is doing. Uh -huh. No, everybody else is not doing it. That's right. There's some folks that's really living for God. Years ago, while driving across country, carrying my young kids, and I would stop at family house and talk to them. I remember one time we stopped in Texas where my brother was. He wasn't living for God. He tried everything to convince me to leave my children with him. No, sir. No, sir. I said, when we leave, la di da di everybody. everybody was home. <laughs> yes, sir. It took years for him to realize why I made that important decision. Yes, sir. Praise God. He ended up having a son that almost went to penitentiary. He might end up even with a daughter who started messing with a married man. Mm -hmm. right. You gotta take a stand. Yes, sir. You got to. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You have to. You gotta take a stand yes, sir. for righteousness. Yes, sir. Praise God. Some folks may not like it. That's all right. Yeah. But that's okay. It's all right. I'm on my way to heaven. Yes. Let's praise the Lord right now. Thank you. I'm on my way to heaven. Yes. You can get mad and make you want to. Right. I'm going to live for God. Right. Yes. You got to make up in your mind. Yes. I'm going to live for God. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Forgive me for using personal reference, but I look back. It's amazing. Some of the decisions over the years after living for God. Amen. I made the right choice. Yes, sir. Praise God. I'm still in the church. Yes, sir. Praise God. And there are a lot of folks that's out of the church. And the reason they're out of the church is because of hidden sin. And sooner or later, it'll catch up with you. Jesus. Nobody backslide overnight. Mm -hmm. right. It's a process. It is a process. That's right. Judas didn't backslide overnight. Yes. It was a process. It was a process. But he opened his heart oh, to Satan. God. And Satan took him oh, and used him and made a fool out of him. Amen. Even 
Well, Judas had an opportunity to repent. He had a chance to repent. He returned the money. But he he didn't confess. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's so true. He did not confess. He did. And he lost out, didn't he? He did. We skip over the confessing part. That's for children of God. That's right. When you fall by the wayside mm -hmm. and deal with it, hidden sins in your heart, you got to confess it. You got to. And be willing to turn away from it. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Those who are out there, won't you take this time right now to humble yourself and ask the Lord of glory to reveal any sin that's in your life, hidden sin, that's in your life, and confess it before the Lord and ask the Lord to, for, to forgive you of your transgressions right now. I want to give those of you here an opportunity, amen, to humble yourself right now. Where are you? You are humble yourself, yourself and ask the Lord to reveal to you if there's any hand, hidden sin in your life. I want you to just go ahead on and confess it right now. 